obnoxious champion to land against. He has very easy to land skill shot that also slows you and allows him to farm at very long range. He has no mana cost, so if he trades at all, he comes out ahead because you're burning mana. And he's got built-in sustain, built-in CC. It's really difficult to deal with. And if he plays things well, you'll never get close enough to land an E on him. If a Nar knows what they're doing, they're going to be throwing a shitload of damage your way while never getting close enough for you to get any meaningful damage of your own off. So I'm mostly just going to be looking to farm, land my Qs on him if I can, try and do some sort of harass, but the thing is, when he goes Mega, about two or three Qs worth of damage vanishes. And he gets to do that basically for free once every two or three minutes. Actually, probably much faster than that. It's probably you could do it for free about once a minute. I don't really know how fast it is, though. I'm, I'm probably just making stuff up here, which is not unusual. I make stuff up all the time. Wait. That's a jungle vein. Uh... 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 Hmm... Okay. Well, her ganks at six are gonna be very strong. Because she can stealth in with her ultimate, knock somebody against the wall, and then just unload. If she goes red smite, her damage is going to be pretty disgusting. But I would have preferred Jungle Ezreal. Jungle Ezreal brings a lot of power at level 2 that Vayne does not. Jungle Ezreal with a red buff can gank and get a kill, just sort of like how Mundo can. Bad game, though. I'm in good spirit. Hmm. Alright, where are you, Nar? Just got an Urgot game 10 1 2. Very nice. Urgot, I feel like, is a lot stronger now. I, I haven't had great games today, which has been. Unfortunate and unusual. Oh, you missed. I won't. Bang. And I got all the farm. Good. I hit him with a kabang. Kabang! Nope. I know how to juke your skill shot. Stupid easy to land long range skill shot. I know how to juke it. And I even landed some shotgun damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna look to farm. Really no point in me doing anything else. I will outscale the shit out of him. I just want to see how much CS I can get. Because I've been farming really poorly these last few games. <laughs> he hasn't hit a single skill shot yet. And I don't think I've missed any CS. Look at that perfect CS score. Holy shit. So dead. Eh. Oh god, that hit me at max range. For fuck's sake. Well, that sucked. Hm. Hm. Yeah, we needed a ward there. Well, that really, really sucks. Good, at least Nar didn't get any of them.
That's the thing. If it were any other champion, I could have easily gotten engaged on, but this is Gnar. It's really difficult to, to get on top of him. If he doesn't want me to get on top of him, I'm not going to get on top of him. It would have just been much better if she waited there. If she waited a little longer, there's a good chance the Elise would have hopped over a wall and then we could have just collapsed on her and killed her. Because that's what I would do if I were the Elise. I'd come to gank. The, the Urgot is pushing. I feel like he should have just been... Oh, God damn it, I just autoed the wrong minion. At least the... Uh, at least the... Um, uh, at least the Gnar pushed the lane and left. Which let me just get some advantage back. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. You don't do that much damage, thankfully. And I heal back almost as much as he's doing. Okay, and I should be able to get the rest of this. Yep. Because with a Duran's Blade, you last hit... Oh, that's not good. Tower took too damn long. Uh -oh. Okay, good. Galio got out. I think he's out. I'm just looking to farm. I have a CS advantage. Those two assists he got are going to be obnoxious, but not the end of the world. Really does no damage. He's wasting his time. You're wasting your time. That's really bad. <laughs> the Elise stuck around. Okay. I got some decent poke off. I'm running a little low on mana, though. And their Elise is murdering our team. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Elise is jungling better than a vein. Who could have seen that coming? Really hate the range on that ability. It's really not oh, what the hell. Huh. Well then, I guess I kill him. Well then. I wasn't expecting to just murder him like that, but okay. If he wants to die, I'll take it. <laughs> he definitely didn't need to die there, and I just barely had enough mana to kill him. Now we get out. Alright, that was nice. <laughs> the Gnar has donated himself to the cause. Um, thank you. Tasty. Now I've got a lot of defensive stats, and it looks like he must have TP'd. Good. So now I've got a CS advantage. I've got a kill advantage. Hooray. That feels good. Our Kaelin also is doing well. She's got a CS advantage and a kill. Of course, Elise is very good at ruining that. Jesus, she's 5-0. We need Vayne to do something. Yes. And nice. You got next to note it nice. You got the shutdown. That's very good. Unfortunately for you, you just don't do any damage. I mean, I'm just absorbing his damage. He doesn't do enough. I've got potions. I've got Duran's Blade, Cull, and I have potions. And Warlord's Bloodlust. And I've got there, I'm nearly back to full health. All of his harass, all of his nuisance, and he burned his ultimate, too.
That's good enough. Whew, boy. Um, I tossed my ultimate out at the wrong time, though. Oh, boy, I'm dead. I just dropped the ward. She just showed up. Yeah, the weakness of our jungler, it becomes apparent every second that goes by. Because their Elise is making plays all over the map, and our vein is 0-2-1. Vayne was a really, really, really bad choice. Really, really bad choice. mid lane is doing terribly. I've seen so many bad Galios. I think too many people are jumping on the bandwagon is OP. Uh, the bandwagon of Galio being OP without actually knowing how to play. I want the Galio mains playing him. I don't want some random person who says, oh, Galio's damage is obscene now. Must play. Good, so he just burned his hop. Which means once my ult is up, I might be able to go for something. Oops. He's getting low. If I land another combo, I can probably just kill him. Oh, he's dead. Yep, he's dead, and I'm fine. You can go fuck yourself, Elise. You can go fuck yourself. I had enough damage to kill you. No, you can't just Mega Nar and win. Elise can't rescue you from everything. She was trying to. But unfortunately for you, I was going aggro, so she missed her binding. If she had hit me with that binding, that would have been... I would have died, and it would have just been ugly. Oh, boy. Our Galio is doing terribly. Unfortunately, it's a vein. I'm not quite sure what the vein can do other than power form. Just trying to push this out because I've got no vision. It's very scary for me right now since I've got no vision, I've got no magic resist. Oh. Well then. Alright, that's one less pink ward that I need to worry about. I don't have TP for a while. Nar does. The Nar just uses TP? No, he's TPing back now. I'm level 10. I could make a successful roam, but I'd rather just kill this guy. He doesn't have any vision in there, huh? Because it looks like he just tossed that thing fucking blind. Oh boy. Hi there, I'm scary, aren't I? Yeah, Vayne Jungle is a very poor choice. Oh yeah, the Q buff on Urgot is it's game changing. This was what he's needed from the very beginning. It's now a skill shot that that can be landed pretty consistently, which is sort of similar to um, 
his skill shot, except his is much longer range. Nar has a much longer range, easier to land skill shot than Urgot, but now Urgot's skill shot feels competitive. Unfortunately, our team is not playing on a competitive level. I'm doing well, and that's it. And that's with the annoying ganks that have been coming my way. You just don't do any damage. You realize that, right? I think he realizes. I'm still at full health. He just hasn't done it. Got you! Got his flash. Got his flash. Oh, yeah. And Vayne just died again. Hmm. Well, this game looks pretty fucked. The only one on the team with any kills. Oh boy. I mean, I can shit on this guy all day long, but there's only so much I can do. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to fight? I want to fight too. No, I don't actually need my ult to kill you. I'm just going to use it to slow you down so that I can then run you down and kill you. See, speed is what I care about. I would have liked to have had a tasty meal, but I knew I had you dead to rights no matter what you did. Now, unfortunately, I know that their team is probably heading right towards me right now. Which means I'm about to... No, they're not. I mean, look at that. They're going somewhere else. Oh my god, I'm just fucking wrecking this poor little guy. I mean, at this point, I've got a pretty significant advantage. I've got the cleaver, upgraded boots, and an armor item. He just has cleaver and pieces of shit. He doesn't have... I, the advantage I have is real, and it's good. But, as we can see right now, this game's looking pretty hopeless. As we don't have any fed lanes other than me, and there's only so much our god can do, I'm not nearly as fed as three people on their team. Ah, eh, I'm more fed than him, but just barely. Because in the end, I mean, they have four towers. So no, I'm not. Actually, there's three people on their team that are far more fed than I am. Which leaves me with very little options. And Vayne's just getting robbed in her own jungle. Oh, no. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Why did you get close enough to die? Caitlyn is one of, if, Caitlyn is one of the longest range AD carries. Got you. Do you want to actually fight me? Holy shit, he does. Uh, of course. The only reason why he would ever want to fight me at this point is if his jungler was there. I'm just gonna mute everybody. The whining isn't helping anything. I'm just gonna mute everyone.
I'd like to enjoy League of Legends, and it's hard to do that when there's so many people just bitching. The vein was not a good thing, but I'm sure it can work. People have bad games. The issue is that every lane lost and the vein lost. If it was just one or the other, we probably could have made do. And as strong as the Elise ganks were, I mean, they're ganks. You should have things warded. It shouldn't just be... It shouldn't be that easy for them to just kill it. It doesn't matter how good the Elise ganks were, you could have warded. Alrighty. Well, I'm the big bad Urgot. I'm the big bad scary Urgot. The only scary person on the team right now. Which is kind of the problem. We're down seven towers, an inhibitor, and probably... Oh, just one dragon. That's impressive. I would have thought they'd have two dragons by now. Maybe there wouldn't even be... No, they could have done two dragons by now. The Elise has just been too busy ganking, I guess. Damn, it's too bad. And this game looks like one of those games where I could have carried. I'm definitely strong enough to do so now. Oh yeah, level 13 is when I can actually deal with these fuckers. Yeah, it's time for me to run away. I was correct. I was correct. They were coming for me. fast those shotguns refresh. I love it. Unfortunately, again, it just doesn't matter. Huh? Is that aimed at me? I think that was. Luckily for me, she missed. I, I am going to need some magic resist. That much is obvious. Let's get some magic resist and upgrade this thing. I'm going to be a little short. Oh, actually, I can sell the Durans. I'm good. I can buy this. Sell this. Buy this. That's good. Alright, well, I'm pretty strong, but again, I've got two two items and upgraded boots and a half. So I've got two and a half items plus upgraded boots. He has two and a half items, and this, with him being 1, 4, 5, and 30 CS behind me, that's how bad a situation we have. This game, I mean, any game can be turned, but this game is, in all likelihood, just a foregone conclusion, because they're simply too far ahead at this point for us to catch up, because we need to catch up. Hi, Alistair. Make makes you feel any better? You wasted your flash. <laughs> I am the big bad ergot of your nightmares. fighting. Hmm. Well then. No, my W. Good enough. Good enough. I just murdered their whole team. I'm pretty sure. So I killed the Elise. I killed the Syndra. I killed the Twitch. What the fuck is that? God. <laughs>
Yeah, the eight tower advantage is an issue. <laughs> that was great. I like how I managed to hit her with my ultimate after she flashed, because she flashed in a straight line. Fool. You never flash in a straight line. When you're trying to juke a skill shot, at least. I don't know if she actually knew that skill shot was coming, so maybe she just assumed. I love how fast those shotguns work. Oh, Vayne's dead. Oh, it is time for me to leave. I am just going to go now. I'm not that easy to kill. Oh, you are dead now. I'm dead too, though. Yeah, there's only so much I can do on my own. The Twitch was just autoing me the entire time. And I don't have thorn mail. But yeah. Oh, the Twitch got the kill. But. But. Nice. <laughs> yeah, let's get thorn mail. I need, I need some... I'm, the thing is, I'm not going to be able to itemize enough. The Twitch is, like I said, they have three people on their team more fed than you. That means if I don't get on the, the, the most fed one, I'm just going to die. Because sooner or later, their damage will pile up. The Syndra was a very good target to take down, so I was happy to go for it. I didn't use my ultimate because I figured I could kill her fast enough, but it took too long to kill her. I was hoping to save my ultimate for Twitch. But I couldn't get the flip off. And that killed me. If I got that flip off, I could have killed the Twitch. Good news is I still have Ghost. So if this Twitch is stupid enough, I will kill him. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys don't do any damage to me. See, the Twitch does a lot of damage, but not that much. Once again, I just couldn't get close enough. He has a CC wall in front of him with that Alistair. Oh. Oh. Pandemic Legacy Season 2 is out. Awesome. I love that Righteous Glory Ghost Speed. I wonder if I could bring us back from the brink. I don't think so. I think we're just too far behind, but... I don't know. The scaling in our team is really good. That's one advantage that we have over them, is that our late-game scaling is ridiculous. Killing me that easily. Not killing me that easily. It's unfortunate you will kill the rest of my team that easily. I can't do anything about this. He was too far forward, and we just don't have the ability to back him up. I need to eat her! God damn it. Uh, nice! <laughs> she still went down. We'll have it by Halloween. Awesome. Pandemic Legacy was a really fun board game. It was the first in... I, I don't know actually if it was the first, but it was the first one that I've tried where it's actually a game that you play over time. Every time you sit down and play the game, you update the rules a little. Hmm. 
Yeah, so unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to bring this game back from the brink. We're just too far behind as a team. We've got great scaling, but not enough time to get to it. Because their entire team has at least a 10k advantage right now. Probably more. There's really nothing we can do. At this point, they can just take their time, grab Baron, and then have the triple... Or, excuse me, six supers away, plus Baron just take us out like that, because how can we defend with no towers against six supers? We can't. Oh, we have to make one last go at it. Wow, that was a lot of damage! Shit, whoa. Well then. Hi there, how you guys doing? No, you're not the one I wanted! Finish it, finish it! Um, alright. Can we actually defend now? We won the fight, can we defend? I mean, this is a lot of supers, but we did just get two inhibitors back. Um, maybe this game isn't over yet. Huh. Oh, is it? Okay, we've actually managed to clear all the minions out, but there's a good chance we're about to lose some inhibitors. No. Oh. Okay, we can save this in here. For now. I'm not sure if we can save it for long. That was such a bad fight on their part. I came in, I managed to get a flank off. That should never have happened. Because I flanked while I was visible the entire time. Then I just got behind the Syndra, and their backline melted. The the Twitch fucked up. He died. And he can't, you can't do that. The Twitch got too close, he got caught, and then got murdered. That was without my help. What's this guy doing? Where's Twitch? I know he's thinking of just going in from the flank or something. Ah, crap! Crap! Help! Help! And I'm leaving. Good luck! Good luck there, Galio! Good luck! <laughs> Thanks for saving my life. Now you have to die. You're dead. No, I was going to kill him. I was going to murder him. Fucking Alex Star. Yeah, the vein probably was the biggest contributing factor to why we lost. Because it meant we had no jungle pressure. And their, their Elise was just going everywhere, killing in every lane. She killed in my lane, she killed mid lane, she killed bot lane. She... She managed to make successful ganks in three lanes. The Vayne needed to either be there when the uh, Elise was there, or... Um, I don't know. I, it's just Vayne jungle is not a good choice. You have very low kill pressure until six. And you're farming... I don't even know how good Vayne's farm in the jungle is. I imagine at first her farming is very slow. So she relies much like a Twitch or an Ezreal to get kills early, and she didn't. She got herself and myself killed, unfortunately. But I did what I could do. I mean, I made their Gnar look like shit, so that's nice. I got that going for me. All right, Quaid, we can't afford to lose this game. 